just returned from the 2014 Vectric User Group meeting that was held in sunny Orlando, Florida. It was a great event and a great opportunity for users of all different levels to get together and chat about how they've been using the software. Um, the Vectric team put on some great demos showing how to get the most out of their software and a few sneak peeks of what uh, users can expect in the future. That's, that's pretty exciting. Um, we were asked to put on a, um, a short demo uh, explaining what CNC Mini Projects is, uh, showing off a quick tour of the website, and then also putting on a demo um, of how to use or show how easy it is to use Mini Projects in Aspire. Uh, so this video is a recreation of that um, with some extra information, uh, especially when it comes to tooling. Uh, because of time restrictions, I wasn't able to uh, really show that off. So this will give you a better sense of how to tool or do some basic tooling on your layout. Now, um, of course, you're going to want to use this as just an example um, and use your knowledge of your machine and your tools to create the tooling that you're going to need. Uh, so this demo is going to take the Western Saloon number two mini project and its project sheet as a guide and make a layout. And then we're going to hack that layout with some models from the Western Saloon number one mini project. And then we're going to tool that. So I um, hope this is handy and useful. And uh, well, we may as well just get to it. Thanks. Okay, let's create a new file. And we're going to make this model, um, this project, 16 by 16 by 1 inch. Yep, thick. I notice the units here set to 1 inch. We're going to go with um, the uh, modeling resolution of high, and we're going to click OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to tile our windows left to right. And we are going to flip over to our 3D clip art tab. And we've already purchased the Western Saloon number one and Western Saloon number two mini project. And the sign that we're going to make is going to be this one right here. So go in our, our pub, and it's um, a Western Saloon themed pub. And this says, always drink upstream from the herd. So we need a hat, the rustic sign, and also the cactus and the text. So let's go ahead and double click on our rustic sign in the 3D clip art library and you'll notice that when you double click on it in your 3D clip art library it always pops up into the center of your project space. We're going to hold down the shift key and grab the rotation handle, rotate it 180 degrees and we're going to press T on the keyboard so we'll get to our set size dialog and we're going to make it 14 inches across. And we're going to apply that, close that and we're going to go ahead and grab our center handle holding on the shift key and we're going to drag the rustic sign down to the bottom of our job space. Flip back to our 3D clip art library again and then bring back up our project sheet and we're going to need the hat and the cactus next. So let's go ahead and drag in the cactus and then we're going to drag in our hat. In the 2D view we're going to scale this all up just to make it make our layout proper. And we'll find a spot for our cactus. Okay, great. Now we're going to do a couple things. First of all, I've decided to allocate um, half of the one inch board for the relief model. So we need to make sure that all these models fit into the half inch board. One of the great things about mini projects is that we model these um, and we think about how you might use them. All of the, the signs have a dish in the center so that when you add models to them, you can get the extra height in the added models. Um, so for instance, uh, well, first of all, let's, let's size our rustic sign. So we're going to go ahead and select it. I'm going to go to our modeling tab and go up to our properties here, our component properties. And we're going to make sure that it is set to a quarter inch. Press the space bar to tell Aspire that that's what you want. And then we're going to close that down. We're going to go over to our cactus. We're going to do the same thing to that. And it's going to be added to the sign. And we're going to set it to be 0.4. Now, if we hadn't had a sign with a dish like this, then we wouldn't have been able to make this 0.4 of an inch because 
this is a quarter inch plus 0.4 brings us up to 0.65 of an inch and that's just too thick to fit into the space that we need so thankfully with this dish shape we can get some more detail into our cactus I'll click close and we're going to go ahead and select the hat the cowboy hat now we're up to properties and we need to make sure that that's a merge component it was added before so you could see the sign was pushing up through the um, the hat or adding adding itself to the hat and now we're going to go ahead and play with the properties of the hat so we need to give it a bit of a base height to get it above the rim of the sign and then we need to actually scale the shape height that we want to be point to point three five so those two added together oops both of those added together make a half inch now I've already pre prepared some text to go on there so I say that it is a 3d clip and then I now have my text so I can just size it up and it's just recessed text and then it sort of looks like V carving and I can position that where I want it over just a little bit there perfect and that looks pretty good so now I want to show that to my customer for approval so what I want to do is I am going to um, go up to my view and I'm going to tell it not to draw the modeling plane and then I want to save that out and show it to my customer now for my bar this is a little too inviting so I think we should change it up just a little bit so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our 3d clip art library we're going to select our text and we're going to delete that out of there we're going to go to a western saloon number one and we're going to drag in the bull skull we're going to hold down the shift key and we're going to scale it up to fit and then we're going to grab that and the rustic sign and we're going to flip to our modeling tab and we're going to center those the skull into the sign that's good and then looking over in the 3d view i see that again i'm adding these two components together i need to merge in the skull so we are going to go up here go here to our properties and we're going to make sure that it's merged in and while we're here we might as well scale it properly to be 0.5 and then we're going to go with close we don't need the cactus anymore so let's double click on that and delete that out of there and we're going to go back to our 3d clip art library and we're back to our western saloon number two and we're going to drag in our vulture and we're going to scale him up to fit in there and again we were thinking when we made this vulture and the claws actually are proud of a lot of things so when you merge them in it looks like the actual bird is perched on the skull so let's go back to our modeling tab and let's make sure that everything here is right it should be um, merged in and we also want to make sure that the shape height is 0.45 and we're going to close that down now the hat makes things look like you could be a little too comfortable in our saloon so let's delete that out of there now i'm going to import in my vectors for my text so file import vectors there it is right there open that up and we are going to now put that where it belongs now that looks like a much better sign if we want to preview what that text looks like on there when we v-carve it we can just go ahead and give that a shape so we're going to give it a shape of oh minus 36 we can make this minus 35 and we're going to give it a base height of minus 2 and we're going to apply that and you'll see that we'll create a new component and it will be a simulation of the v-carving and that to me looks perfect okay let's create the tool path for this so we're going to close this and we're going to go ahead and hide the new component that we have made up for our text we're going to need an outline of this for a couple of different things uh, before we do that though let's grab everything there and press F9 on the keyboard and that'll center it into our our job space and what we're going to need to do is get Aspire to give us an outline of this so we're going to click that and Aspire now has just created us a nice outline and we're going to use that to define our tooling border and then also to use to make our profile cut path to cut it out so let's flip over to our tool path tab and we're going to go ahead and tool this so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our material so it's one inch the datums in the middle our models at the top of our board and the um, the rapid uh, tool 
tooling is set up good. That's perfect. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to head and do our roughing pass. We're going to use a end mill. That's perfect. We're going to do a machining allowance of one inch. That's great. Zilla roughing, perfect. Bounding box. And we're going to overshoot by a quarter. That's great. And let's go ahead and calculate that. We have a roughing. Let's close that down. Now we're going to go ahead and do our finishing pass. We're going to click that. We're going to use a, a quarter inch, um, sorry, one eighth inch uh, ball nose. And if you look at the project page, all the project pages that come with the mini projects have a blue sticker on them. And those blue stickers will tell you what size of a tool you can use if you machine any of these models at the standard height, which is about 150 millimeters, the longest dimension. So in this case, we should be able to machine anything here with a 1 8 inch ball nose, any of these, and it should look reasonably well. And seeing as this sign is um, 16 inches square, then it, it should work perfectly. So we're going to use that. That's great. We're going to use a raster. We're going to angle that at 45. We're going to make sure we have a bounding offset of a quarter, or, or two is fine. And that's great. So let's go ahead and calculate that. It'll take a second to, for Aspire to work its magic. Great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do our tooling up for our text. So we're going to select it. It's going to be a fee carve tool path. Um, we're going to make it a start depth of nothing. That's not a flat depth. Nothing there as well. We're going to use the 60 degree cutter. Which is great, and we're just going to make sure that we project that onto the actual relief, which that way it'll actually hit the board at the back. I calculate that up. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and do a cutout pass. So we're going to select this vector. We're going to make a profile cut. Start depth is going to be at 0.5. The finishing depth is going to be at 0.5. Uh, we're going to use the other side of the line. That's perfect. Uh, we're going to add in some tabs. We're going to edit our tabs, and we're just going to get Aspire to put in 10 of them um, wherever it wants to. Add those tabs in. Close that down. Let's just go ahead and calculate that. And let's just go ahead now and preview all three of our tool paths. This is our roughing pass. our finishing pass. And then we're going to do our V-carving. And there we go. So there's our finished sign. Machine that's good and clean. You can see the stay away text is in there. We have our tabs in there so that we can cut our board out and we're all done. The following basic tooling will yield a nice preview, but previews don't show you broken bits, broken machines, or broken fingers. Remember, this is only an example. Okay, let's create the tool path for this. So we're going to close this, and we're going to go ahead and hide the new component that we have made up for our text. We're going to need an outline of this for a couple different things. Uh, before we do that, though, let's grab everything there and press F9 on the keyboard, and that'll center it into our, our job space. And what we're going to need to do is get Aspire to give us an outline of this. So we're going to click that. And Aspire now has just created us a nice outline. And we're going to use that to define our tooling border and then also to use to make our profile cut path to cut it out. So let's flip over to our tool path tab. And we're going to go ahead and tool this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our material. So it's one inch. The datum's in the middle. Our model's at the top of our board. And the um, the rapid uh, tool tooling is set up good. That's perfect. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to head and do our roughing pass. We're going to use a end mill. That's perfect. We're going to do a machining allowance of one inch. That's great. Zilla roughing, perfect. Bounding box. And we're going to overshoot by a quarter. That's great. And let's go ahead and calculate that. We have a roughing. Let's close that down. Now we're going to go ahead and do our finishing pass. We're going to click that. We're going to use a, a quarter inch, um, 
sorry, one eighth inch uh, ball nose. And if you look at the project page, all the project pages that come with the mini projects have a blue sticker on them. And those blue stickers will tell you what size of a tool you can use if you machine any of these models at the standard height, which is about 150 millimeters, the longest dimension. So in this case, we should be able to machine anything here with a 1 8 inch ball nose, any of these, and it should look reasonably well. And seeing as this sign is um, 16 inches square, then it, it should work perfectly. So we're going to use that. That's great. We're going to use a raster. We're going to angle that at 45. We're going to make sure we have a bounding offset of a quarter, or, or two is fine. And that's great. So let's go ahead and calculate that. It'll take a second to, for Aspire to work its magic. Great. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do our tooling up for our text. So we're going to select it. It's going to be a feet carve tool path. Um, we're going to make it a start depth of nothing. That's not a flat depth. Nothing there as well. We're going to use the 60 degree cutter. Which is great, and we're just going to make sure that we project that onto the actual relief, which that way it'll actually hit the board at the back. I calculate that up. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and do a cutout pass. So we're going to select this vector. We're going to make a profile cut. Start depth is going to be at 0.5. The finishing depth is going to be at 0.5. Uh, we're going to use the outside of the line. That's perfect. Uh, we're going to add in some tabs. We're going to edit our tabs, and we're just going to get Aspire to put in 10 of them um, wherever it wants to. Add those tabs in. Close that down. Let's just go ahead and calculate that. And let's just go ahead now and preview all three of our tool paths. This is our roughing pass. our finishing pass. And then we're going to do our V-carving. And there we go. So there's our finished sign. Machine that's good and clean. You can see the stay away text is in there. We have our tabs in there so that we can cut our board out and we're all done.